Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Valentine's Day look for you guys and I'm super excited about this one because this is exactly what I was envisioning in my mind. I wanted to do something pink and glittery but totally wearable for the season. So if you guys want to see how I got this look then just please keep on watching. So I already did my eyebrows and this eye so you guys have an idea how it's going to be looking. For my eyebrows, I used the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer and this is in dark brunette. I decided to go for something really soft instead of like those those Instagram brows that are kind of dark in the tail. I like that, but for this look, since it's Valentine's Day, I wanted something a little bit softer. And so yeah, I used this brow pencil. I zoomed you guys in so that we can start off and do my eye now. I am going to prime my eyes. Oh, whoops, I was about to put on that eye. That would have not been good. I'm going to take this brush. It came in a concealer and set kit for Barbie Brown, but you can use any fluffy brush. And I'm going to be taking this shadow from the Aphrodite palette from Bad Habit. This one right here, it is Koi. And I'm going to use that just to set everything in place. The first shade I'm going to take is this by MAC, and it's called Orange Soda, I believe, or Orange Sherbet. Um, I tried to find this one online, but I'm not sure if this is continued. Either way, this is an orangey pastel color, and it's really good as a transition shade. So I'm going to pop that into my crease. And it doesn't have to be precise or anything. This is just the first shade that we're going to use to blend everything else in after. For this eye look, I'm going to be using mainly this palette, um, the Aphrodite by Bad Habit. And I'm going to be taking the shade Jealousy. This is a really nice shade that is not too pink, not too red, not too brown. I feel like it's a combination of all those shades. And I'm going to be taking this Real Techniques blending brush. I like it because it's a little bit taper, so I'm going to be focusing this on my crease. Right at the socket, I'm just going to move that back and forth and keep this eyeshadow precisely there instead of smoking it out. Again, I'm going to be taking that orange shade and just going to blend those edges out. And I'm probably going to be doing this throughout every single time that I add a different crease shade. I'm also going to bring into the outer corner because I'm not going to apply the glitter shade there later. Using the Real Techniques brush, I'm going to go and deepen out the crease just a bit with this brown. This is called Seduction from the Aphrodite palette. And I'm just going to add that right on top of the shade that I just put on. And again, using that blending brush and smoking everything out, blending it together. Now for the fun glittery part, I'm going to be using this shade called Beauty from this palette. I think this shade is just so beautiful and so sparkly. It is not too pink or too orange. It is right in the middle and that's exactly what I was looking for when I was thinking of a shade to wear for Valentine's Day. I'm going to finish up the eyes once I put my foundation and everything on just so I can smoke out the lower lash line. But I did apply mascara. I did not wear falsies. And this is just the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Black is Black. For primer, I'm going to be using the Hydra Touch Primer Base by NYX. I'm very, very dry at the moment because you guys can't see this, but it's literally snowstorming outside. You can't even see the streets or anything. So my skin is asking for some hydration. I'm focusing that where I'm the driest, which is just right here next to my nose. As always, I'm going to be mixing these two foundations, the Still Illuminating Liquid Foundation and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is a little bit dark for me. I find it that it's not my right undertone because I am more yellow than the foundation is. So that's why I like to mix these two together to make kind of a perfect combination. I'm still struggling to find my perfect shade, but let's just go with it. I'm going to be using my Eco Tool sponge as always and using the flat side to bounce that into my face. Using the same concealer that I used to prime my eyes, I'm going to use that as my concealer under my eyes right now. Also going to use that to highlight the bridge of my nose up here, just a little bit down here. I like this sponge because it gets right under the eyes and if you are trying to go for a sharp eyeshadow look, it's really, really good for doing that. So I'm in the hunt for a new camera. I really want to start vlogging more and my phone just doesn't cut it. 
I know people say that the iPhone 7 has really good camera, especially the Plus, which is the one I have, but I don't know, I feel like when I upload it, it just gets, I don't know, the image gets a little bit corrupted and I don't really like how it looks. So let me know down below if you guys have either the G7X, which I heard is good, um, and a lot of people have, or I'm looking for the RX4, Mark IV, or the A600. I really, really like this sponge because I get to use my concealer on this side and bake with the other side, since both sides are angled. So what I'm going to do is pick up some powder on this side and oops wrong side just set that in place and then I like to use the bottom which is still a little bit wet still has a little bit of the foundation just to pat that in and not make it look as ghostly white and I actually like to take that around my face and really pounce it in. I feel like it really gives a natural look to your foundation so I like to pat it in. Now that I am set, I'm gonna bronze my skin up. I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. duo compact that has the blush and a um, nice bronzer and I'm just going to bronze my face up. I am gonna be contouring right after so I'm not gonna go too focused on my cheekbones with this shade. To contour my face, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm going to be mixing these two shades right here. This is more of a cool tone, while this is more of a warm tone. And I feel like together, they make a really, really good shade for my skin tone. Okay, this has nothing to do with this tutorial, but don't you love when palettes close like this? Like it, like it goes from here, and you can use it like this and it's just so easy to hold I love when palettes can do that even eyeshadow palettes because it is Valentine's Day and I'm already having super fun time with the pinks in my eyes I also want to look a little bit rosy in my cheeks and I'm going to be using the NARS Gina um, blush I love this blush it is so so pretty and natural and I'm just applying that to the apples in my cheeks and bringing it back I also like adding it to my forehead a little bit and on my nose I want to look super cute on Valentine's Day so nothing's cuter than having a little bit of sunburnt on your nose am I right? For highlight, I'm going to be using a highlight that I have not stopped using since I picked it up at the drugstore. It is one of the most affordable highlights that I have other than e.l.f. And it is the Wet n Wild Precious Petals Highlight. It is so blinding. It's kind of like a combination of a pinkish champagne and a little bit of gold in there. I feel like it's just perfect and it goes really well with this look. So I'm going to pop that on the high point of my cheeks. And also add it to my brown bone for some sparkle, some definition, and the tip of my nose as well as the bridge. And can never forget the Cupid spell. To make everything look more skin like, I'm going to be taking my rose water, covering up my eyes, and I'm just going to add that to my face and bounce my sponge all over so everything can melt in together, especially that forehead because something funky was going on there before. And it also makes the highlight sink into the skin and look way more natural. I love this highlight and if you guys can find it, pick it up. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm going to be using the same reddish purplish brown tone that I used on my crease. And just putting that on my lower lash line. I don't usually go crazy with lower lash line colors, but I like to pop in one or two here and there. For the inner corner highlight, I'm going to be mixing in two colors, Crush and Tease. For lips, I know I use this all the time, but it is my favorite nude and I feel like it goes well with such a pink look. I'm using the Bite Beauty Butter Cream Lipstick in Caramel. And right on top of that, I'm going to be using a L'Oreal product. It is 185 Lilac Ever After. And it's just going to be a nice gloss that is going to make it a little bit more pink. Love it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I put too much there. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys spend your Valentine's Day having a lot of fun, chilling. I hope you guys have a good time on that day. And as always, my social media will be linked down below if you guys are interested in following me or seeing what I'm up to and what I'm posting. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I know I'm moving so much.